Hello, my fellow schemers. I can scarcely believe it myself, but I've just filled up sketchbook number 10. Uh, 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 let's go! This took me three months to fill, and I'm excited to share it with you. These were just some monsters from a D&D &D monster book. And I did like the little ones with the heavy line art in places. I designed the t-shirt for a New Haven pizza tour that my husband's workplace was going on. So these were my design ideas. Moses delivering the Ten Commandments of Pizza and the design that we went with, Pizza Slice Man. And he became a t-shirt and a sticker. So that was really fun to take something out of my sketchbook for a change. Cows and Skulls smooshed. Playing with some bilateral symmetry to make these. Cows and Skulls, Skulls and Cows, oh yeah. Some doodles. And I got a few different art books for Christmas. And this was Ellie from The Art of the Last of Us. And I also got a book about the history of hip hop. I liked this spread because I just kind of left my sketchbook out on my desk and just added a doodle every now and then. Then I started Burb Fest all throughout the 31 days of January, painting a bird a day, or a burb, a cute bird, according to the prompts of Burb Fest. I really enjoyed it. It was a small-ish time commitment each day, so it didn't feel overwhelming the way Inktober did for me, but it gave me time to really delve in. I think this is the first one where I really put in some texture and shading and got some three-dimensionality, and then I was pretty hooked from then on to try to make a nice bird each day. I like the penguin, how it's swimming, but it kind of looks like it's flying. I like the texture in this Egyptian goose, and I thought the feet came out pretty good. That's a tricky pose. Don't know why they like to stand that way. I'm sure there's a good reason. This blue jay gave me a lot of trouble, but I really liked especially the face of this bird. And I really liked the fire tail, the grandala. I love the texture and color in here, the shading. I kind of like all four of these. This one looks awkward, but I still like its color and its shading. And then this one I had <laughs> artificially widened it because it's so skinny. It just looked so strange to me. So Photoshop helped me out a little bit with that one. And I really liked this one. They're very unusual birds, very cool. This one kind of looks a little, I don't know, geometric or something. I thought that was kind of fun to play around with. And the black and white with just that accent of red I really loved. And then I also thought the branch came out pretty good too with the textures. I love this one, it's maybe a little cartoony or has a little personality that got in there. And I liked both of these. I kind of felt I improved as the month went on. And I did use, um, by the way, watercolor pencils, and most of them I went over and softened them uh, with water. But this one I just liked so much, I left it how it was. And then I really slowed down and invested time in this one. And 
I love it. I love how the feathers came out, especially at this area right here. And then this one, I like how the eyes came out and the feathers. And then I kind of went with that like geometric design again. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. This one's colors were so much fun. It really did kind of look like that. It's colors in real life. Very interesting. And then I had practiced the colors first. These were the official prompts, which I followed. And then I love seeing them all gathered together. I really felt glad that I stuck with that challenge the whole way. Okay, this was going through an old matchbook collection that's been obsolete and in my basement for years and years and years. And I went through them and picked out a few favorites to illustrate. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Some doodles, I like that carrot. And we went out with friends for a trivia night. We had one during our previous visit, but on this night we got massacred. And then I did some more block prints. I tried that again. And then I had illustrated this before, an old photo where I coerced or persuaded my husband to pose with me with flowers on our eyes. I used to do a photo a day challenge and he got pretty desperate for <laughs> new ideas of photos to try. But then this one, I had so much fun. He cooperated. My husband gets the MVP award on that one to say some silly things. And I wanted to try a simple way to animate his mouth. Time for a snack. And then I did about half of an odd orange session. I like the heavy line on the watercolor. I don't think I had really tried that before, so I liked these two quite a bit. <laughs> I made magnetic masks. They snap on magnetically. This was a very fun and silly project. Love them. <laughs> Watercolor, trying to get a glow effect for a sunrise or sunset. And these are just doodles of little objects I have. That's Baba Yaga I made from a potato head. This one was pretty fun. I didn't have any reference and I just cut up pieces of faux leather to arrange them into this kind of awkward dragon shape, but something about it I just really like like how the feet, the toes, the claws came out, the eye, the teeth. Those are playing around with coffee stains. I really like this spread. It was an afternoon at a museum, the Wadsworth Athenaeum, and I just stopped every now and then and sketched a piece of artwork and then colored and painted at home. You talking to me? And then I did an odd orange session for Woodlands. And this is all right. I didn't really particularly like any of these that much, except for this fox. And I think that tree is pretty good too. But it's always a fun group to sketch with and hear them chatting. These were inspired by a watercolor class I took, my first ever in real life art class. And these were practicing with making like a bokeh effect in the background and then painting things in the foreground. My husband and I went bowling, duck pin bowling. It was a really fun outing and I saved the score sheet. What do you notice about these scores, people? Ha ha ha. I love how this came out, kind of seeing the score sheet transparently a little bit through the background, in the background, and then having some black in the foreground. These were some men I sketched from Unsplash. These were also from Unsplash. I 
was using up the paint on my palette and this is Joel. Joel again from The Last of Us. I got a Sketchbox subscription for three months. This was my first one. And the challenge was to use the materials in the box and create something based on the prompt succulent. This was just getting out into my backyard because it was a warm day. And there were these little flowers that sprouted up in our yard that my husband told me about. Very simple, but it just felt so good to get out of the house. I'm a, really a homebody, especially in winter. So I have to really push myself to get out once in a while. And this was just a background. I tried to use a stencil. It didn't really work, but I try again later, you'll see. And this was from the in-person class that I took, that I told you about. And that's where these were from as well. So I just picked a few of the things I worked on and put them in my sketchbook. Finally, the day had arrived for the New Haven Pizza Tour. It was really fun and I loved making that video too. I'll link the videos related to this sketchbook down below if you want to check any of them out. And this was from another art book about The Last of Us, but part two. And this one didn't really come out of Joel. And I, I made a digital one that I liked better, like swapping in Jesse for right there. And I went on a little kick of digging up my old art books or reference books and using them to inspire spreads. This is from a book about Greek mythology that I've always loved the art in. And I was just imitating these, but I really like how those came out. And I like the heavy line work that I included. This guy's pretty cool too. <laughs> Oof. I don't need no doctor. I don't need no doctor. That's been going in my head for two months solid now. Such an earworm. I love the song, an old humble pie song, but oh, it's been haunting me. And this guy might need a doctor. Another reference book I dug up, The Ultimate Visual Dictionary. Really fun to flip through. I love this crab. I just hate, I hate that part. It's like one of those helicopter things from a tree, but I hate how it, how I got in the way of my, mm, I guess he's an iguana. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, I had sketched this once before too. This is from Train Street in Hanoi, Vietnam, and tourists line up and this train goes right by, right down this middle street. And it's become kind of a, a tourist spot, but we did find it a lot of fun to make the effort to get over there and see the train go by. <laughs> So I got a stencil that a place was throwing out and I just grabbed it and tried it. And I did like how this one came out. Another art book I have, well, a reference book, History of the World in Photographs. So I went in right with marker on these, fine liner and marker. So some pretty tough perspective and hands. Poor Betty Grable, I did not do her justice. And they're all pretty bad. He does not look like James Dean. Actually, I guess Alfred Hitchcock is maybe the best one. I do like his face. So this was fun. The same place where I got the stencil they were giving away, they were giving away old packs of National Geographic and I combined the photos, I painted over the photos to make this technique. 
and I left the hand here so that part's photo and that part is paint. I think I mainly like the color palette on this and then I tried it again. This one had been left over so I paired it with another water-based photo. Another triumph of getting outdoors and it was warm and sunny. I was in heaven. I walked on this linear trail that's near my house and there was a picnic table on the trail and I stopped and sketched. I scribbled and then made doodles inspired by the scribble. Really just this one I kind of like. Mushroom lady wearing her mushroom earrings. Thought she was kind of cute. I did a 30 minute class on lineofaction.com of figure studies. So you do, I think it's 10 30 second drawings, five one minute drawings, and then two five minute drawings and a 10 minute drawing. And I really liked that. I think I'm gonna to try to do that, something like that, at least once a month or so. You get so much practice in, in just 30 minutes. And then I did it again, but these are reverse. So these were the warm-ups of facial expressions. And then these were the five minutes and I messed up on the 10 minute. It only took me about five minutes. So I tried it again and it was even worse, but it's all good practice. I like these two okay. I like that guy. And then some odds and ends, another leftover thing from the watercolor class, a Kipto sticker. I really got into Smart Lists, the podcast. I'm just a few years late to podcasts, no big deal. And I took some notes, I loved the Ken Burns information. Got some new brush pens. Mm, no comment. And that's the end. I saved my sketches for planning my birds. And that's about it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear what your favorite spread was or what you think I should focus on next. That's it.